Happy New Year, Aquarius. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. This is your Astro Tarot reading for the month of January 2024. And let me tell you, you are in a power cycle. Pluto, the planet of power, the planet of transformation, the planet of rebirth has stepped into your sun sign and it's going to change the direction of your life. You are going to be transformed. Things are going to be deeper for you, more serious. You're going to be able to take on your challenges. You're going to be strong mentally, strong physically. You are going to seek deeper purpose in your life. There's going to be a rebirth, a rebirth of your intentions and a rebirth of your directions. But let me say, a lot of things are going to be happening in your spiritual life. And it starts on the 4th when Mars, the planet of passion, enters into your house of privacy and your house of spirituality. What does that mean? That means Mars wants you to be passionate about making changes, quiet changes, those things that you have allowed to sabotage your life, the addictions, the toxic relationships. Mars is the planet of war and it's going to be waging war on those enemies that you have in your soul, in your heart. And you know, those addictions, those habits that are, that have sabotaged your success. You are going to want to sit quietly. Be behind the scenes and make changes for yourself and plans for making changes for the future. You are going to recharge. You're going to recalibrate. But Mars is not going to be there alone. Mars is going to be joined by three other planets. It's going to be joined by the new moon, Mercury, and the planet Venus. But we're going to talk about all those a little later. First, I got my four decks of tarot cards. And let's just see what the first message is for you for the month of January 2024. What is the message for you for the month of January 2024? The first message of the month is, the first message of the month is rest and rejuvenate. Well, isn't that what the planet Mars wants you to do? Rejuvenate, to rest your mind, rest, meditate, focus, contemplate. What is it that you need to change? Let's get some clarity on what is it that needs to be rejuvenated in your life. What issues are going to come up for you? The first clarity card is God, your spirituality, your spiritual path. You need to reconnect with the divine. You need to have better prayers. It doesn't matter, you know, what spiritual direction you take. But to take, take a spiritual direction that you connect with, that speaks to you, to have better intuition. Your intuition needs to grow and flow, and that is through having a more prolific spiritual life. Well, on the 11th, the new moon is going to come into that house of spirituality and open the doors for a new spiritual direction. Let me just say this to you. You're going to have new thoughts about what plans you should make, what direction you should take, what people you should have around you. You're going to enjoy being by yourself. Somebody may not like that. You want privacy. You want solitude. You want to be able to contemplate alone. Like this card said, rest and rejuvenate. And that's exactly what you're going to be in the mindset to do. And Mercury, the planet of decision-making and thoughts is going to be there. And you're going to be able to solve some mysteries. What's been going on in a certain situation? This situation, that situation, something that's been hidden for you. Conversations are going to come to you. People are just going to start speaking to you. You may get a message or two from someone that's going to click something in your head and say, oh, this is what that person was up to. Or you may run across some information that you weren't aware of. Secrets will be revealed. Information will be revealed. Good time to do research. Things that have been lost can be found. Jewelry. You know, if like so you, you put something away, you hid it from yourself, you can find it. Mercury is going to help you find things, make sense out of things. And then on the 23rd, Venus, the planet of love and affection, is going to be in your house of privacy. That means two things, some self-love, some self-treatment, some self, you know, being good to yourself, you know, spa, massage, you know, rest. Cutting the phone off, not listening to other people's concerns or aggravation. You know, you can have miserable people that's calling you all the time for you to, to, for you to help them with their problems and they don't know when to stop. And you may have to turn that phone off to have some self-love. Or you may decide that you want to spend some special quiet time, quality time with a special someone and not let anyone in on it. Let people know. I have to warn you. 
People from the past who've been trying to get back to you are going to figure out a way to get back into your life. <laughs> you may get a phone call from somebody, a message, an email. Somebody's trying to get, get, get back in touch with you. They want to, but keep, make sure that this person is on the up and up because we're dealing with secrecies and people may be doing things privately and they may be having another partner somewhere <laughs> hidden, okay? So be very, very mindful of that. All right, so I got my second deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the second message is for you, Aquarius. What is that second message? The second message for you is, the second message is confront, confront your shadows. That's what you are going to be doing all for, for most of the month with Mars in Mars, the moon, Mercury and Venus in that house of privacy, the house of the soul, the house of the things that hold you back. You're going to confront your demons, you know, your addictions, your challenges. You are going to confront them. You're going to see them for what they are. And you're going to deal with them. You're going to have the willpower to release them. And why are you going to have the real power to release them? It is because Pluto, the planet of transformation, is going to be entering into your sun sign on the 20th. Pluto is the planet that takes your challenges and allows you to overcome them. Weed them out. Deal with them. Rise above them. Change, you know, if you had mountains in your life, it's going to change those mountains into mole hills. You'll step over them. You'll step around them. They will no longer be challenges for you because Pluto's going to give you the determination, the power, the empowerment, the personal willpower to move forward. And the, and the sun is going to be joined by Pluto. Also, in your sun sign, happy birthday, Aquarius. This is your birthday month. Happy birthday. You are entering into a powerful powerful birthday cycle. You got Pluto. Pluto's ready to change your life. And the sun is giving you the optimism, the forethought, the, 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 um, the, the, the motivation to move forward, to know if this is a time to grow. Let go of the darkness. Get, let go of the challenges. Let go of the chains. Let go of the toxic relationships. Let go of the, the feeding addictions or the, 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 um, the uh, drinking addictions or the gambling addictions. Let them go. Move forward. Grow. Flow. Be abundant. And that's what's going to be happening for you. And it's going to be all good. And I got my third deck of tarot cards. Let's see what the message is for you, Aquarius. Let's see what that third message is for you. That third message is to grow. Oh, when did we just talk about growing? Everything is about growth, moving forward, you know, prospering. Yes, to prosper. You are in a cycle of prospering, rebirth, manifestation, transformation, to get out of those dark spots, those hard spots, and want something better for your life. You can do it, Aquarius. This is your time. I'm going to tell you that on the 25th, that full moon, the full moon is going to be in your house of relationships. Okay, let's see what's going on. We're talking about growth now. Does you Are you in a relationship that's growing? Or are you in a relationship that's stagnant? There's going to be more focus on love for you. There can be changes in love for you. Secrets in love can be revealed. Secrets about your partnership can be revealed. Secrets about somebody that you want to build a partnership can be revealed. Let's get some clarity on this on that full moon. What can happen around that full moon? What might be revealed to you around that full moon? What is it that you need to know around that full moon? Well, let's see. you got to make some decisions. Judgment. Judgment means you have to weigh things and make a decision. Something has to be made regarding your relationship around that full moon. Is it a good decision? Do we stay together and make it work? Or is it the decision where I can't do this and we got to let it go? Okay, and if you got a, a partner's got an attitude problem, you certainly going to let it go. You can't talk to them. You can't grow with them. You can't have peace with them. Or if you're with a person, you're trying to make things grow, you're going to just say, I've had enough. I'm going to move on. And you know, Uranus, the planet of uh, freedom, the planet of liberation, is going to be in your situation with your family. What's going on with your family? Ooh, there's going to be some tension with your family because you're going to want to make some changes that are necessary for your 
for the greater good and for your happiness. So there can be changes within a relationship or changes within your home. You may live in a place that's cluttered, can't stand it no more and start throwing stuff out. Throw it out or give it to the goodwill or wherever it is or declutter your emotional life. Somebody is getting in the way of your progress. They always got a problem. They always got a complaint. You know, they always got something wrong. And also, this could be a change for you. You may be thinking about moving. I've had enough where I live. I've had enough of living around certain people. I've had enough of living in a certain neighborhood, in a certain city. Time to move, time to grow. And guess what? Jupiter, the planet will be, this is the planet of good luck. Good luck. It's going to be direct all month, and it's going to be in the sector of your home. You can have good luck with a home situation, better luck with your family, better luck with a love relationship, someone you live with, better luck. And if you're trying to relocate, you can have better luck. If you're trying to relocate, you need to contact me to have an astral cartography reading so we can find out if the place you're moving to is the best place for you. Yes. Okay. And Aquarius, I have... Let's just see what that fourth message is. What is the fourth message for you? The fourth message for you, Aquarius. What is the fourth message? The fourth message is power. Oh, isn't that what we're talking about? Didn't I just say that you were in a cycle of power? You are in a, a cycle of reinventing yourself reinventing. You don't have to be the same person today that you were yesterday. You don't have to hang around the same people today that you hung with yesterday. You don't have to live in the same situation today as you lived in yesterday. You can change your life. You have power. Let's get clarity on this card. Let's see what kind of powerful things can come into your life. And oh, don't take no for an answer. If someone wants to give you grief, you got to fight back. That means to charge into your life and be strong about it. Sometimes people push you around. They take advantage of you. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not when you have p powerful planets that are working for you in your life. That's going to bring some major changes such as Pluto. Pluto, the planet of power, is going to be in your sun sign, making things happen. Absolutely. And Aquarius, I have a spiritual message for you for the first month of the new year and see what that spiritual message is. The spiritual message for you is the Lady of the Dark Mysteries. What does this mean? This means don't be afraid to grow. Don't be afraid to grow. Dark mysteries mean you have there have may have been some struggles. There may have been awful, awful things that happened to you in 2023. But out of those things comes strength, comes endurance, comes the desire to overcome them, comes the, the desire to change things for the better, to get out of them. You know, there is power in struggle. You are a powerful poet person. You are in a power cycle. And this is the time to take your power back to change your life and to, to, to change and transform your entire being. Yes, Aquarius. This has been your Astro Tarot reading for the month of January 2024. And if you'd like to know what else is going on in your life, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com.